it's interesting, there's a, the former head of uh, Goldman Sachs, John Whitehead, uh, was also the former head of the New York Federal Reserve, and, uh, and I met with him and he said, as soon as the Fed stops buying all the debt that we're issuing, which they've been doing, the Fed's buying like three quarters of the debt that America issues, he said, what's that, what's that over? That's over. He said, we're going to have a failed treasury auction. Interest rates are going to have to go up. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're living in this borrowed fantasy world where, where the government keeps on borrowing money. You know, we, we borrow this extra trillion a year, and we wonder, well, who's, who's loaning us a trillion? The yeah. Chinese aren't loaning us anymore. The Russians aren't loaning it to us anymore. But so who's giving us a trillion? And the answer is, we're just making it up. The Federal Reserve is, is just taking it and saying, here, we're giving it. It's just made up money. And, uh, and this, this does not augur well. Uh, for uh, for our economic future. Now, not, not, you know, some of these things are are complex enough. It's not easy for people to understand. But your, your point of saying bankruptcy usually concentrates the mind. Yeah, George. <coughs> Governor, to your, to your point on complexity. Yeah. How when you travel around America and talk to people in larger groups, and perhaps people with different backgrounds and people in the room, to what extent do people really understand that we're hurtling toward the cliff? And to what extent do people really understand the severity of the, of the, of the fiscal situation we're in? Do people get it? They, they don't. I mean, by and large, people, people don't get it. Uh, people in our party, in part it's our fault, because we've been talking about deficits and debt for about 25 or 30 years as a party, and so they've heard us say it and say it and say it. Uh, the, the fact that Greece is going through what it's going through when they read about France and Italy and Spain has, has finally made this issue topical for the American people. And so when you do polls and you ask people what is the biggest issue in the 2012 election, number one is the economy and jobs by a wide margin, but number two is the deficit. And, uh, but, but debt and the, that doesn't, that doesn't calculate for both, but the deficit does. They're, they're, they recognize you can't go on forever. 